Hey guys, so we're going to just show you uh, hopefully what we'll be able to get done spring, summertime this year. Um, that's the goal anyway. Once all this nastiness leaves. So this garden here, and there's one on the other side of the house. I want to put fabric down, clean it up, make it look nice, put mulch down hopefully. Uh, got the lilac tree there, hoping to trim it up, make it look nice so we can get more lilacs during the spring. That bed, flower bed, is a whole nother story. I don't even know if we'll get to it this year. Same thing with this one here. It had a rock wall, but we'd have to dig out, make it more flat, and put the rocks in. That would look nicer, but who knows. Uh, we've got apple trees that we're gonna trim once the snow goes and make them look nicer and prettier. And then got all kinds of potholes. I don't know what we'll do with them. We try to do stuff, but they always come back. Who knows? Anything short of cutting the driveway out and putting down new snow, it just, it just keeps coming back. So over here is my Goliath. This is a flower garden. Very pretty flowers in it. But I had it cleared out one summer, but then by the time I got to the other end, it all came back in. So, but I'm hoping to maybe get some fabric down, make it look nice. We've lost some of the flowers because of all the weeds that have taken over and the pine trees up there. It's just so big and with everything that we have to do, it takes forever to get to it. By the time we get back to it with everything we have to do, it just oh. tends to fill right back in again. Your shoes must be getting wet. Would anybody like to do the nature's raisinette challenge? I'm just kidding. It's, it's deer crap. I'm not going to. No. <laughs> There's the kid's trampoline. We got another small one up behind the garage that I'm hoping to bring down and put next to it. So if one's jumping on one, the other one can jump on the other. And here's our graveyard. Souls of lost, forgotten lawn equipment. <laughs> Still good for parts. Come down here once in a while to get parts for customers' machine. Make it a little cheaper and easier for them. And as long as the part's still good and viable, I'll use it. And over here is his snowmobile. We've got a project going on where you can see on the tail end of that sled we're lengthening in the tunnel. I've got a longer suspension for it and a longer track, so it, I haven't rode it because I, ha I can't stop frigging with it, so. <laughs> pile hopefully we'll get to one day the other apple tree back there hopefully we can trim that up too and next to that apple tree is probably my favorite place in the oh. world that we have to redo rebuild this year hardcore uh this is our gun range uh it has changed in the past couple years there used to be more trees uh say between this tree and that tree and we actually had hangers where we could hang the, the big gong on um we had to cut them down because they fell so we're trying to scramble and think about how we're gonna reset it up and get more steel targets and and uh get the grill down there he didn't want to cooperate so uh she's dead now <laughs> yep The minefield. And the first project of every winter, when spring finally does show up, is taking care of the minefield. Oh, how I love having two dogs. Yeah. That's great. And then we got uh, chicken coops, chicken coops, chicken coops, chicken coops, chicken coop. And way across the way, right against the uh, riverbank, is actually our cold smoke house that we're in the process of building um, i've got the uh furnace somewhat welded up i still need to get a door welded on it and some pipe and test that out so a lot of stuff to do once the snow does go 
Um, a lot of fun stuff to do. All we can do is just keep pecking away at it. Um, it's hard with our schedule. Things get kind of machivid and things get kind of junky real quick. And as soon as the snow goes, we just need to start up, pick up, and uh, start pruning, start trimming. Um, you know, start getting our meat birds in and getting them brooded up so we can have our slaughter day in the fall. And, and more layers because we've only got three currently. Yeah. And it's starting to rain, so we will say peace out. Peace out, people.